What's going on guys? So I'm on my uh, daily walk and I happen to have the GoPro in the uh, truck, the van, so I thought I'd bring you guys with me like I used to do. Uh, the thing is, is I'm in the uh, city right now. So I'm kind of, uh, it's kind of embarrassing everybody looking at me talking to a camera like a weirdo. I'm kind of shy about uh, filming in public like this, like a freaking weirdo. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I, we drove down to the city to do some stuff. I think Judea's uh, uh, getting her nails done or whatever. So I thought uh, we we're sitting at the coffee shop. I thought I'd go do my walk here on the boulevard. See the ocean? And have a little chat. I feel bad I haven't been uh, filming as much. Oh, uh, there's a group of people. Put the camera down. Yeah, it's kind of awkward uh, talking to the camera. It's actually really hard to walk around the city because even here, uh, I get stopped a hundred times. Or they're like, hey, Critter. Hey, Justin, uh, is your car broke down? Fatties don't walk. <laughs> they don't say that. But everybody thinks my car's broke down and want to help me or say hello. And this isn't even my city. Imagine, I can't even go walking in Dalwin because I get stopped so many times. And then, boy. Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah, in Dalwin, it's impossible to go walking. I get stopped too much. I gotta go find secret uh, roads. And I still get stopped somehow. Anyway, uh, yesterday I had a meeting with a lot of people uh, about this project I wanna do in Dalwin or the whole coastline really. It's gonna be uh yeah how's it going it's gonna be uh basically on april 1st if you guys are in town or whatever want to join we're doing a huge trash cleanup the coast guard will be there the marine conservation people will be there a lot of subscribers a lot of youtubers want to local you know filipino youtubers want to film this thing there will be a lot of people and we're going to do a huge beach cleanup, multiple locations, and then we'll go diving. The I, I got the resort to sponsor all the dive tanks and we'll go clean up the reef in a whole bunch of spots. So that's part one of this, uh, this huge project I want to do. It'll give some, uh, is the camera still on? Oh, I'm glad I was recording and not just talking to myself. Anyway, that's part one. Hello. Yeah, that's part one of my uh, big project I want to do. Uh, part two is going to involve like building, getting sponsors and building these massive trash uh, cages, I guess you could call it. Where... Uh, Cause there's nowhere, nobody picks up trash. Like the city doesn't pick up trash. Uh, that guy's peeing, that guy's, yeah, that guy's taking a pee. I gotta go this way. He's peeing into the ocean. Yeah, the, the, the city doesn't pick up trash. There's nowhere to put trash. And I wanna get this, I think I finally got permission to build these big trash cages so the animals don't get in there and buy some trash cans and recycle to put in there and put them on the beach and around the city. I got plans for it. I've been wanting to do it forever, uh, but it's hard to get the permit. Even if I'm paying for everything and I pay for the weekly pickup from the city to go to the dump. But I think we sorted it out and I could start getting the sponsors for that. You know, corporate sponsors, put their name on the thing a green initiative whatever you want to call it just to get these big because 
every time there's a festival, all the people just throw the, they have parties on the beach. They just leave the trash on the beach because there's nowhere to put it. So that's part two. Then there's a whole bunch of other. Ew. There's a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, yeah, this, this is the boulevard in Dawan, or uh, Dimagete. It's really happening at night. It's pretty crazy. I don't know if you can see that. There's like nudibranch statue, octopus statue, frog statue, bird. Uh, you can tell this is a dive town because I've never seen a nudie. Even other dive towns don't have a nudibranch. That's impressive. Now here's some boats. Anyway, yeah, I want to tell you guys, I got to say hi to these people. Uh, so I want to tell you a little about myself, if in case you don't watch my other channel, or you just started watching. Of course, I'm out here, uh, you, you know, you know my journey if you've been watching this channel, trying to lose a whole bunch of weight. I'm down to 77 pounds so far in the last eight months. And my first goal is 100 pounds, so I'm pretty close. But you guys, I don't know if you know me. So I, I wanted to tell that story because I need something to talk about. <laughs> Distract me from this long walk. Uh, it's really hot. Uh, but basically, in 2010, I went on a university trip. I'm from Colorado. I went on a university trip to Southern Africa and I never, I fell in love with travel and I never went back. I started my own company, travel writing website, uh, tips, you know, all kinds of stuff. And eventually I went full time, started making money and I was, ba I was a travel writer for 10 years, long story short and I was getting flown all over the world writing about mostly I was writing about dive destinations so tourism boards would fly me to whatever country it was you know Dubai Kenya Mexico uh, Indonesia every year uh, all over the world I went to 89 countries and that was my job and then I arrived in Philippines I fell in love with it uh, the underwater biodiversity was insane. I mean, still, I've been here a long time now. Still, I see something new every day I get in the ocean and I could film it. So I sold my business. I ended up selling my business because I wanted to transition to video instead of writing and photos. And I started teaching myself underwater videography. And that's how my channel was born, my other channel. And uh, I don't know where I was going. I guess that made me a, also a amateur naturalist or marine biologist. Because I was studying, you know, I published a book on certain species we found here. Nudibranch species of Darwin. I am about to, we're working on the second book. It's going to be awesome. I had to turn around. I'm at the end of the uh, road here. I hope you guys can even hear me. There's a lot of waves. I should probably have checked that before I talk so much. Anyway, so I started video. I got, I met my wife. She's now my wife. That was like seven and a half years ago. We dated for a few years. We traveled, we lived in Thailand, we traveled all over Asia, came back to, came back here to Philippines, got married in Sikihor. It's an island right out there, just a little paradise. And we've been together, this year will be uh, four years. We've been together eight, but married four years almost. And uh, for the first time ever, I had a base, like a home base since 2010. You know, I was living out of a backpack and loving it. Room service, hotel, flight. Room service, hotel, flight, diving, diving. 
I was averaging at the end 187 flights a year that's like every week and it was amazing but tiring you know it was it was a lot of work but it was awesome I, I basically figured out my passion and then figured out how to monetize it make it sustainable instead of just a once a year vacation and now it's it's still diving it just evolved into more videography documentation documentary making I don't know what I do let's go this way and uh, I just getting bigger and bigger goals you know the pandemic happened we really got stuck here thank god we got stuck here because we really got to know the area the diving nope we're the only ones here the only ones at the dive sites I was videoing stuff I never seen before it was always on my bucket list it's really amazing I'm really rambling because what am I gonna do I'm just walking and you guys you guys like these type of videos there's a turtle statue I hope I'm recording I'm gonna walk over there I don't think you can see it uh, I should have showed you the nudie statue here's a here's a turtle there's statues everywhere and they light up at night here's a bat yeah so now everything's open we got more tourists coming here again it's not just me I build a really awesome community in, in Dowin of divers you know I get calls every day let's go diving of course this month I'm super busy taking the instructor exams instructor course but it's just cool having that type of friends they're all passionate about what you do as well about what you know your same passions oh there's a shark statue there's a deer uh, yeah I was just hanging out with my friend Alex and we were looking at deer of Philippines they got these little dwarf mini deer with fangs it's freaking hilarious here's a whale shark or something yeah whale shark so am I still recording cool yeah I got a lot of goals that me and the wife we want to do we want to travel we're gonna make a road trip up to Anilao I really want to see the Philippines while I'm here before we you know it was our original plan to spend a year in a different region of the world every year and then move on because like I said I was doing 180 something flights a year let's go see that nitty brink uh, so that's not enough to get to know a place you know I was there long enough to dive in whatever destination and then leave but when you spend a whole year and say Egypt you get to know the place or Indonesia my huge goals are to visit every country in the world eventually but I could have done that by now if I if that's what I wanted to do uh, I want to get to know the country so I really want to go to Solomon Islands I've never been to Solomon Islands this lights up at night <laughs> a little nudibranch I have a whole book about nudibranch species of Darwin so I can't believe somebody made a statue here that is just nerdy anyway Solomon Islands I really want to go there Papua New Guinea I've never been there I, I, would, I really want to go to some of these places I haven't been and film them but man I'm getting on some tangents uh, I really want to see the Philippines while we're here before we really leave uh, and make documentary I'm gonna do a road trip up to Anilao which is a lot of islands from here it's a long way a few ferries and then the big islands to drive through and then uh, I'm thinking about doing the Philippine loop I don't know if anybody any of you guys have heard of that it's basically it's self-explanatory it's a loop around the Philippines it's huge you can do it as fast as four months or four years and then the government gives you like a certificate achievement you you did the Filipino loop we want to do it slowly I already ordered all the parts from my van there's too many people over there 
Uh, and they're foreigners. I know they're oh, they're already waving at me. Yeah, I already ordered the parts for my van to make it an awesome like mobile studio. Uh, make it cold inside, insulated, uh, power converters, so I can charge laptop and cameras. Uh, the back will be like a a gear compartment where I can hang up wetsuits and stuff to dry without ruining the floor. Anyway, how awesome would that be to do a road trip around the Philippines, film each dive, dive and film each destination along the way. And then on this channel, I still want to lose weight. I don't want to forget that goal. I could visit different gyms, different YouTubers, vloggers, fitness people, uh, different styles and diets and chefs, nutritionists along the way because it's a huge trip. I don't even know how many thousands of kilometers. And film that as well for this channel. So, and then move on. You know, maybe in a few years, we go live in Indonesia and do the same thing over there. Really get, I, I've been to Indonesia a hundred times, but the wife's only been there once or twice. And there's a lot of islands I haven't been to. I've been to a lot, but there's a lot of places I really want to see. It's so awkward, people are looking at you. Uh, so, and there's a whole bunch of countries I want to visit. So I love having goals. Of course, my dream is making a documentary documentary series about the ocean for like Netflix or somebody like that uh, but I also have other goals that are kind of related like losing a hundred even 150 pounds or uh, visiting every country in the world uh, publishing more books uh, I'd love to do a Somebody made a proposal the other day about a documentary or a book about shipwrecks around the world. That'd be cool. I've dove a lot, but I'd love to make a video series about shipwrecks around the world, not just the species. Anyway, it's cool to have goals as long as you just go towards them and not just sit around thinking about them for your, half your life waiting to retire so yeah this is a long walk it's, it's like a hundred percent humidity what are you selling? pearls, pearls? Yeah. where'd you get that? No, she had Mindanao, sir. Oh, Mindanao? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Lots of pearls, huh? Yeah. What coins is that? U.S. Silver, 1888, 1862. It's fake. No, sir. Yeah, this is, uh, it's plated from China. No, that's right. I'm, a. Uh, I, I collect coins. Even, even coins. How much, how much? This one? Yeah. He's asking, he's asking 2,000 pesos yeah. for it. $50? 40 bucks. Um, and I just looked it up in the condition that it's in. It's only worth 32. You bring it to a pawn shop, it so might give you 20, 18 dollars for it. Well, the real ones, yeah. The, the, melt, the melt value is only 16. This is not a melt value. This is only plated. It's all plated? What is that? Shark boy. Huh? Bone shark. Shark, shark. Yeah. Shark bone? Yes. Oh, vertebrae. Yeah, That's kind of cool. What is this? Beads? Yeah. Black. Glass beads? Oh, cool. <laughs> All right. Good luck. It's nice. I'm actually a coin collector. God dang, I do a lot of stuff. But I was an amateur numismatic in the states and there's a lot of fake Chinese coins you got to be skeptical of somebody selling American silver coins 
in Asia. But you can tell right away. Well, I can. If it's, uh, there's some pretty good fakes though. Anyway, I'm still a long way from the car and the coffee shop. This coffee shop is called Ground Zero. I go there with a couple of my vlogger friends. Everybody, and they make videos there. I can't make videos there because there's too many people uh, talking and saying hello. Want to meet you. But they make videos there so everybody knows to go there to meet YouTubers or whatever. So I'm just trying to walk. I don't, I hate, I love Dowin. I don't like coming here to the city, the big traffic and the uh, crowds. You guys that want to visit Dowin or Philippines or this area, you don't have to stay in the cities, man. Come to the, uh, come to the beach towns where we can go diving or snorkeling or whatever you do every day. You don't need these crowds and uh, traffic. Look at this traffic. This is the boulevard. And uh, I could be here in 15, 20 minutes if I need to go shopping, but I could live in paradise. So I wish, I wish more guys knew about that. Much nicer than a big city. Anyways, I'm only walking like a couple miles today. They should uh, do it. After we do this trash project, I'm not even going to tell you all the plans right now because whatever. But if you're on, if you're here April 1st, come meet us at uh, uh, Sea Dreams Resort in Dowin. It's huge. We chose that one because just the parking area is massive. So come see us on April 1st and join. If you're a diver, you can, you can uh, dive for free go clean up the beach or the underwater right after we do the beach cleanups April 1st at Sea Dreams so they should do it here or we should do it here I shouldn't say they you got to do it yourself if you want people to get it done oh man these just started raining that's why the humidity is so high shit And it's raining. I just walked way down there. The other end of the boulevard. I kind of like this rain. I just hope my camera likes it too. Yeah, I kind of got off on a tangent trying to tell you my little tiny bit of my story when I was a travel writer 187 flights a year for 10 years it's, it was exhausting man but I saw everything but I've only been to 89 countries which means I'm not even halfway through if there's 196 countries I need to there's a lot more to do I'll be 37 next next month that's too old I need to get a lot more done. I'll start my dive business after I'm done with the instructor course next this month. And yeah, the world's my oyster. I just want to dive or uh, video. There's it's when you're in a place like Philippines, Indonesia, the Coral Triangle the center of biodiversity on the planet it's like treasure hunting every day you see new species like i said i just published that book about nudibranch species we had 269 just in dowin and my second book we already have over 350 we don't even know how that's possible we keep seeing i thought i was done i've been here three years i didn't think there was i could see new ones and i just saw five last week that i've never seen it's crazy Can I take a, make a thumbnail? Can you see that? Is this a good thumbnail? I hope so, cause I'm super lazy right now. 
not lazy, busy. I don't want to be edit. Am I? Yeah, still aiming. Am I recording? Yeah. Right here is Tom Tom's Coffee, next to Bo's Coffee. Hello. 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 How are you? But down here is Ground Zero Coffee, where we always meet up people. A lot bigger. Maybe I'll film it for a second. Yeah, probably not. It's too many people. It's awkward. I already feel awkward here, I'm trying to cross the road. <laughs> that guy just stopped traffic in his car and said, "You can go, Critter Hunter." So if you're watching this, kind sir. Thank you. Let me pass. All right. I'm about done with my walk, thankfully, because it's so, uh, it's raining now. Hopefully nobody stole my car. I left the keys in it. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not gonna weigh in today, but I'm still on track. Diet's going great. And uh, if you guys have any questions, I was really rambling, trying to tell you about myself. Just put it in the comments below and I'll answer it. And if you watch to the very end of this video, let me know. Put a, uh, put a fish emoji in the comments. And I'll see you guys later.